This is Witchbase News for Friday the 10th of April 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...changes are coming to fleet carriers next week and players concerns are being prioritised says Frontier. We livestreamed an interview with Bruce and Steven from Frontiers community management team. The AXI publishes its poll results on carriers. Elite has a new senior community manager at Frontier. The virtual Elite Dangerous meet is this weekend and Commander Zebadian announces a new picture on the face of the galaxy. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. The fleet carrier beta is coming to the end of its first week and with it the first week of player feedback from that beta. There's a sea of hot topics surrounding fleet carriers right now from upkeep costs and jump timers to outfitting options and tritium prices. At the start of this beta test no one outside of Frontier knew how long it would last or if indeed there would be changes as the beta progressed. Both of those questions have now been answered. The previous beta test just after Christmas this year only lasted for 4 days and was widely seen as a token gesture to appease the cries of players who wanted the chance to beta test updates before they dropped. Frontier have now confirmed that the current beta for fleet carriers will run until April the 20th a full 2 weeks after it started. We interviewed Bruce and Steven from Frontiers community team on our breakfast club livestream on Thursday and they stated in that interview that they're listening to player feedback and were hoping to drop a patch reflecting that feedback into the beta test next week. I've linked below to the Twitch archive of that interview in case you missed it. After the near 2.5 year wait for the carrier update and numerous delays that the project has seen it was always going to be a tough sell to the player base. The frankly terrifying numbers attached to and currently limiting carrier ownership in the beta have further fueled that anxiety and perhaps haven't done Frontier or Elite any favours in the PR department. It remains to be seen what the changes to the beta will bring to that experience but as soon as we know we'll post it on this channel. Still on the subject of fleet carriers the AXI, one of the largest player groups in the game, polled the player base to ask them a number of questions about fleet carriers to help gauge opinions. The poll was answered by over 2000 people and whilst not representative of the entire community's opinions it does give a number of interesting pictures on how at least some of the player base feels about the announced features, carrier functionality and issues like upkeep costs and jump timers etc. I've linked below to the forum post that breaks down the results into some nice digestible charts. Frontier welcomed a new senior community manager to the Elite Dangerous fold this week in the guise of one commander Tim. Tim joins the company and community at one of the more turbulent times in their history even without the worldwide viral pandemic that is keeping everyone away from their desk. So we wish him well. Welcome to the coolest community in space Tim. The Elite Community Meet was supposed to be happening this very weekend in Cambridge before the aforementioned viral pandemic made mass gatherings illegal and social distancing mandatory. Undeterred the team behind the event have pressed on and instead the gathering will be taking place entirely online and what's more it's open to the whole Elite Dangerous community. There's a forum post detailing what's happening along with a burgeoning discord community supporting the event. As well as Elite Dangerous and live streamed Elite Dangerous RPG sessions you can expect organised sessions of Artemis and Sea of Thieves to name but two. The whole thing kicks off at 0900 UTC on Saturday the 11th of April and runs all day. Do make sure to swing by and take a look at the proceedings. Let's be honest the chances are pretty slim that you're going anywhere else right now. And finally Commander Zibadian who is known for tracing designs on the face of the Elite Dangerous Galaxy via tracking software and the Elite Dangerous star map announced their latest project in a rather cryptic video earlier this week. If you're not familiar with the commanders work then I've linked their YouTube channel below. It's honestly staggering the sheer volume of jumps and the mileage involved in game beggars belief and yet they keep cranking out these amazing works. I get second thoughts if I have to go any further than 10 or 15 jumps usually it's just amazing. 07 Commander and thank you. 
If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find links below to Patreon. That's it for now thanks very much for watching ...we'll be back later this week with more videos until then ….o7 CMDRs ...follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.